Here I am playing the Secret H class in TF2. Now, not a lot of people know you can actually do this, but if you go into the class select screen, open the console, then input the Konami code three times backwards, a new panel opens up on the main menu. Click that panel, input your mom's credit card number, and it changes your class back to the soldier. Play a real class, son. No one wants to main heavy. To play the heavy, just point and shoot. Wait, that's it? Where are all the weapon options and subclasses? The different playstyles? Oh, here we go. Shotgun heavy, lads. Now here's a real man strategy. The definitive way to play the heavy scout man is to run at them with the shoddy. This thing sucks. This, this isn't even something I should run. Oh ho ho, boxing glove heavy though. The definitive way to do something different on heavy subway gut. All you gotta do is eat your footlong sub, put away your minigun, and just run at people. Again, you just run at people. This doesn't even work. You just die before you reach them. Oh, I think we got it this time though. The Hoovy subclass. Using this master class of playstyles. You literally just sit there. Sit there and not even play the game. Wasting a player slot the rest of your team would probably appreciate in this moment. Footlong sandwiches for days, but what is there to actually do as heavy bar shoot stuff with your minigun? It's pretty fun shooting stuff, I guess. Yeah, it's still pretty good, honestly. Just been enjoying myself. Shooting some new stuff. Yeah, I'm bored of this. Heavy is a great class, even if it lacks gameplay variety. This guy isn't exactly the Mario Odyssey of shooters, where you're slip sliding, transforming into frogs, turning to electricity itself, becoming a freaking dinosaur, Jesus Christ! You just shoot stuff. You're a bit bulkier than the other guys, a bit slower, and you come with a packed lunch too. Stuff's pretty good. Got extra cheese on this one. A dash of love, actually. I think the reason Heavy stands out and receives more criticism than the other classes is because he's more generic. Soldier's got a rocket launcher he jumps around with. The engineer plays his buildings. Medics are a class entirely specialized to cause the most amount of stress to the player. And the spy lets you disguise and backstab others. Heavy, meanwhile, gets a big gun. And that's kinda it. There's nothing wrong with that, because many games have the standard gun guy you can play that just shoots stuff. But it stands out in TF2 because the other classes are distinct in terms of their mechanics. The only class that comes close to being generic beyond the heavy is the sniper, but even then the headshot mechanics are a bit more unique in TF2. If you take the heavy and play some side by side with another big gun guy, the gameplay experience is more or less the same. There's nothing unique to the class here, no mechanic that adds that additional layer of strategy TF2 is known for. And again, there's nothing wrong with being normal, but it's probably why a lot of people don't main heavy or even give the class a shot. In a game of interest and varied mechanics, brimming with uniqueness, the heavy is pretty tame. However, Jesus, who said that? Personality is another game entirely. Think of all the Meet the Team shorts and how each portrays their respective class. Now think, which of these is the most memorable? It's down to personal preference, but the heavy is the standout for me. The tense initial presentation, the eerie silence, the sincerity he speaks with, and the writing. It costs $400,000 to fire this weapon for 12 seconds. Think of the most memorable lines across all of the Meet the Team shorts. That's how I lost my medical license. Now think of how many of these can be found in the Heavy's short alone. I am Heavy Weapons Guy. Who touched my gun? Some people think they can outsmart me. Maybe. I've yet to meet one that can outsmart a bullet. This is where the Heavy shines. His gameplay might be generic, but his engaging character sells the experience. It's what makes Heavy entertaining to watch. Look at his facial expressions as he shoots, his cries as he fires. His toughness and strength is juxtaposed with his goofy nature. He is the butt of every joke revolving around sandwiches, despite being this strange, quiet genius that is somehow misunderstood. When you think of TF2, you think of the heavy. Valve even put him on the cover of the game. He is literally the poster child. Despite his generic gameplay, people remember heavies. People have fun times with heavies. It's why this class is primarily used when people play as friendlies. So even if I can't say much about the class other than you point and you shoot, with the occasional sandwich thrown in, it's still a fun experience. I love playing heavy. I think a lot of people do. There's a joy that comes 
from just simply steamrolling the other team. You get on the cart, you have a medic up your arse, you get on a roll, and you just tear through them. Mechanically, there's not much going on. You're just shooting them, but it's a damn fun experience. Oh my god, Daniel, just stick to your 50 bad facts format. I want to see you make a funny satirical joke about using the family business shotgun in favor of the minigun on a higher tower. That's literally the pinnacle of comedy. It's the only reason I subscribe. But I'm just trying to be entertaining and make original videos I'm passionate about. And the series format is just a means for me to organize those videos on my channel. Not a reason for me to do the exact same thing every single time. Did you hear they made an even taller version of Higher Tower that's even higher? If you don't make 20 videos on it, I'm unsubscribing and leaving your Google Plus circle. Okay, alright then. Let's never try to innovate on this channel ever again. We'll keep every video exactly the same every time. Let's start the real video now. Roll the title card. When playing the Heavy in Team Fortress 2... Don't. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> I should probably mention somewhere in this. It's actually my birthday today. April 13th. Happy birthday to me. I'm another year closer to death. Oh boy! 